the source of our green waste material, of which is about 30,000 tonnes that we process each year, is mainly from Wiltshire's 10 household waste recycling centres or the local authority curbside collection schemes. We usually do bring the sort of larger clippings up here, but we've got a composter at home as well, so all smaller stuff goes in there. We collect the garden waste, it gets composted, we buy it back, use it on the garden, create garden waste, that gets collected, recycled, composted, <laughs> creates a whole <laughs> recycling loop, doesn't it? So uh, it's great to be able to have the facility to buy it back. Then you can bring your own bags up and co cut the cost as well and you reuse the bags too. When waste that will break down quickly in the landfill, what we call biodegradable waste, that's, that's things like garden waste, food waste or paper or card, when that goes into the landfill, it breaks down in the absence of oxygen and produces methane. Now methane is a gas which is very potent in causing global warming. It's said to be at least 20 times as powerful as carbon dioxide, which is the main and best known global warming gas. We make here a soil conditioner, a warrior compost, which we sell at our household waste recycling centres, back to the public, or in bulk bags, which we can deliver out to the householder. We also have other markets for land remediation projects and to agriculture. We are accredited to BSI Pass 100, which is a composting standard. We have to go through strict criteria to ensure that we know exactly what goes into our compost. We can keep records of the batches as they go through. The compost has to go through a sanitisation phase to apply with our accreditations. We all monitor the, the compost, uh, the temperature of the compost in its core at about a metre deep every day at set points down the windrow. And we will send compost off to be analysed by uh, laboratories, which will test for important nutrients in the compost. We can compost from green waste through to end product in approximately 14 weeks. The biggest problem is the plastic bag. People that bring their green waste down to any of our the collection facilities and leave it in their plastic bag causes great problems for us. The green waste will be garden waste, so any grass cuttings or branches, etc. but we cannot accept kitchen waste any fruit or vegetable peelings. Unfortunately, that is due to the animal byproduct regulations. You can send all your green waste in your curbside collection, but you can also at home compost those things that you can't send to us. You can compost your kitchen waste and uh, your vegetable peelings and bits and pieces at home to make a product that you can use at home in your own garden. There's just two ways to do it these days.